Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today I'm going to be using my Use It Up journal and playing around with some abstract figures. So for this page I have been having a whole pile of collage bits and pieces floating around in my stash for a long time now which I just needed to use up and the really funny thing about this page in particular are uh, those scraps that you can see on the right hand side um, with the colours on them and my name are uh, pages that I did for an art journaling course I taught in I think it must be 2004. I was invited up to Canberra to um, their stamp camp to do a little bit of stuff on art journaling and how to make pretty backgrounds and all sorts and this is one of the first exercises I got everyone to do. Um, at that stage we didn't have all the pretty dye inks and so on so we just had our uh, sorry dye ink sprays we just had our regular stamp pads so we used those to make the colors in the background and some um, water soluble pastels and we were writing over them using um, just Tombow markers and so on so this is really old school art journaling stuff here and um, as soon as I found them in my stash I thought oh, I need to incorporate those into my new art journals so I've just torn them all up into random bits and pieces you can see as I'm gluing down the page that some of the dye ink is coming off and that's okay I knew that would happen because it's water reactive even after 15 or so years and I'm just incorporating in some of the tissue papers over the top. Now you can see that um, I was quite generous with the amount of gel medium I put in the background. The reason for this is the paper I used first of all was quite a thick, I think it was like a watercolour paper. So I just want to make sure that everything was glued down. I'm also because I had so much glue in the background, I'm gluing down this tissue paper over the top, one to add some extra interest over the pages and two to use up all that extra glue. Next I'm going in with my neons because why not, I love them and you'll notice I didn't really let all that glue dry particularly well um, in the background because um, I knew I was going to put some paint over the top and by putting the um, paint over while the glue is still wet it just adds a bit of thickness to it spreads it out so it's just like making it into a glazed medium anyway by putting the paint over the whole surface it ties in the pages even though I had some bright colors in the background by putting sort of translucent paint all over it it sort of ties it all together now I'm just going in with some random text stamps from I think um, IO Impression, impression Obsession stamps and these are some um, foam stamps from oh, Flutter by Designs um, just in black over the top as well just to sort of tie everything together. Now I'm just going in again with some gel medium because I wanted to put some gold foil on this but I dried off my gel medium before I did that so I'm actually just leaving it to go a little bit tacky before I put some gold foil over the top and now I think I'm actually trying to find the gold foil before I put it on so <clears throat> this is some gold foil that I'm cutting off from um, I've got a mink machine I don't use it very often I actually use it more to do this sort of stuff I've just put the foil down and I'm just heating it up now I'm not heating it up to do anything for the foil it's just helping the gel medium underneath go tacky enough that the foil will stick to it and you can see you get that beautiful impression in the background I love I've been doing a lot in a lot of my collages recently and um, putting the foil over the top because it just gives that extra bit of shimmer and interest to the background the reason why I'm doing it on this page is I knew I wanted to do a redactive painting which is where you paint out most of the background so I knew I wanted to have some of that shimmer coming through. Um, one of the reasons I was doing this was I had um, a, uh, this is going up in the future, so um, I had a art journaling class that I taught in July and one of the pieces that the, the students had asked to do was a 
redactive painting like this but I'd done it with the birds from Dina Wakeley. Now I only had one set of bird stamps and I had a class of about 16 that I'm teaching so I just wanted to play around with some of the other stamps I had to see what would work and give students an alternative. So I had these abstract figure stamps Basically what I was looking for was stamps that had enough open area that you would get interest from the background but you would still be able to block out some of the background as well and I wanted some simple shapes so not, nothing too complicated that people had to cut out around because they would have to cut out masks to, to do this or sort of stamp it in. So I didn't want them you know, having to paint really detailed areas around it. I just wanted it to be sort of rough and ready and if they painted over some of it that would look okay. And these stamps work perfectly for that because they are so abstract in their nature that um, by painting them out um, they they look a little bit odd by putting some um, stipuli or pencil over the top you can put the shape back into them again. So one of my favourite things at the moment when I'm doing these reductive paintings is to leave a little bit of the border at the top and the bottom so you've got this sort of floating band and just put enough on that you have definitely whited out the background but you can kind of see some of that color coming through and particularly with this page with the because I've used dye inks in some of the collage pieces in the background you can see some of that dye ink sort of seeping through which makes the background and the foreground kind of stay together or, or play together which I really like. So I'm going back in now with the stamps that I've used to stamp out the background but I'm going in with black so I get those sketchy lines put back in onto my page. And you can see some of them are not going on particularly straight and that's okay. Because of the nature of the stamps it works. I'm also not using a block to do my stamping. I just find it a lot easier, particularly when I'm trying to line these stamps up, not to use a block. The good thing about um, these stamps in particular, or this range of stamps in particular, is that they are fairly closely cut to the image of the stamp. So you, you don't have a lot of um, black um, blank area around that you have to sort of guess about. You can kind of put the stamp up and know pretty much where it's going to go. You'll notice I went in with the Stabilo Oil Pencil over the top of those sketchy lines just to make them a little bit darker and a little bit looser as well so they stood out from the background. From this set I'm using the words as well so um, speak your truth, keep going and this stamp it says we all have a story to tell. Now it didn't all fit in so what I used is some um, washi tape to um, block off the bits that I didn't want stamped and to put in the right place. You can see me using the washi tape down the bottom there. I put the A in the wrong place. It didn't quite work so I painted it out with a Posca paint pen and I just re-stamped in where I wanted it and you can see me doing the same with the two here. Um, it didn't quite work over there it kind of tied into the end of the lady's legs so I decided to move the two tail over. So you can play around with your particularly this text stamps and a little bit of washi to sort of actually stamp them out and mask them and put them where you want to which is a really handy tip to have when you've got a space but it's not quite the same space that you need. The final thing that I'm doing on this page is using some beautiful metallic oil pastel that was gifted to me by a very special friend. Just to put in a little bit more bling onto this page, you can see that beautiful gold shine but now I've got that copper coming through as well. One thing to be aware of is if you use the Stabilo Oil Pencil and the oil pastel um, and you heat the next page you're working on you will get some transfer so just be aware of that you can kind of see some of that happening on my page it doesn't bother me but just so you're aware that if you've done that and you get some transfer you know where it's come from thank you so much for watching and until next time bye for now